It is time to set up the second grow this year, though this one is quite a bit smaller. Welcome to the Hippie Geeks. Let's dig into the new setup in the 28 inch by 28 inch grow tent brought to you by Spider Farmer and their G3000 LED grow light. If you remember me talking about it in the previous grow series, I wanted to participate in a grow challenge in the new year, and that is what this tent is going to be for. One of you pointed out that Cannabeard Grows was doing one, and I headed over to his channel to check it out, and then went ahead and ordered the seeds so that I can participate. The setup for this tent is going to be pretty similar to the previous one, just with a bunch of smaller gear. First up, this is all going into the Spider Farmer 28 inch by 28 inch grow tent, which should have plenty of space as we are only growing three auto flowers in here this time around. I am going to be trying to sprout all three of the skunk autos that we ordered from Coastal Mary Seeds, and if you are interested in hearing more about that process, we will have a video dropping tomorrow talking about the order that we placed. For light, we are going to be using the Spider Farmer G3000 that we unboxed in yesterday's video, which fills this tent up completely. For the exhaust fan this time, we are trying out the Spider Farmer 4 inch exhaust fan with temperature and humidity controls. This is very similar to the 6 inch version that we are using in the 4x4 tent, just a bit smaller. To let air into the tent, I have two of the rectangular vents on the floor of the tent open. As these are auto flowers, I do not have to worry about light spilling in through them, so that makes it nice and easy to get fresh air into the tent. I am still using the 4 gallon square containers from the auto pot system that we used in the last grow in this tent, but I am not hooking it up to the automatic watering system. With this grow, I am just going to try to get back to basics and make sure that it is easy for me to pull these plants out of the tent to check on them so I don't wind up with a nightmare that was the last grow in here. I have never lost an entire tent to mold before, and I definitely want to try to avoid it in the future. I have put my original AC Infinity oscillating fan in here that failed on me, and it still doesn't oscillate as I was never able to find a proper replacement motor. It isn't a huge deal with this small of a tent though, and it should be able to keep the air moving in here pretty well, even if it isn't able to oscillate anymore. I am trying to just keep using what I have available, so as long as it keeps getting the job done in here, I will keep using it. As you can see, I still have the driver mounted on the inside of the tent, but after some initial tests, I am pretty sure that I am going to be running it remotely and putting it on top of the tent eventually. It isn't that cold here at the moment, so I don't think I'm going to end up wanting the extra heat from the driver inside of the tent. We will talk about that more once the grow is actually going though. That brings us to what is coming up next in this tent, and that is going to be trying to sprout the three skunk seeds that we picked up for this grow. This series is probably only going to get updated once every two weeks instead of weekly, as I want to leave some extra time in my schedule to be able to make something other than the grow update videos, which I am really looking forward to. I have one more video coming out this week, which will put me at six videos in one week, which is something that I haven't done in a while. That will be more of a channel and life update video though, so watch out for that if it is something that sounds interesting. I want to give a big thank you to Spider Farmer for sending this gear over for us to take a look at. If you would like to try any of this gear out for yourself, I will leave a link to it on their website in the description down below. Make sure to use code GEEKS at checkout to get an 8% discount on your entire order. Another big shout out goes to our channel members here on YouTube and patrons over on Patreon that have pledged at the trimmer level. While all of our members and patrons help keep the channel going, you folks have gone above and beyond, and we really appreciate it.